Hello, everybody, and welcome to Extra Play and to Bound. We're gonna play Bound. At the end of Sonic Adventure 2, I had all of you vote on what thing I would play. And you guys picked Bound. And I'm excited to see this, too. So I've not gotten a chance to play this yet, and the animation concept of this looks awesome. So I guess let's start it. I wonder how large a team size we're looking at here. My understanding was it was a pretty small, small group. All right. That was a pretty nice walk. And the, uh, like, the dress physics help a lot, but, uh... That was a really nice walk. I wonder, like, uh... There's an interesting different kind of, uh... Gait and sway to her walk that's the way she swings her kind of hips and shoulders. It's a little different from, like, what the average standard walk is. I wonder if, like... This is something I just not looked into before. I wonder if, like, if you're very, like, if you're way far into a pregnancy, if that changes your walk significantly. I bet it, I bet it would. And if, if that's something that they, like, intentionally replicated here, that's an awesome animation touch. That's the sort of thing you gotta research when you're an animator. Trying to animate a thing that you may not be familiar with. You need to, it's important to try to look it up and find out. Because that's, that's the kind of important detail that you want to get right, and that people who would recognize it, will appreciate. Oh, man. So, for those of you who have not heard of this before or seen it, the, uh... I don't want to call it a gimmick, like, it's just the style they're going for. The animation in this game on the main character is all... is all styled after ballet and dance. And I love that as a concept, and I'm just, I'm really excited now to just run around a little bit and see just what their dance version of all the moves are. So this is just the sort of like idle character standing there doing things, which is just stretches, which I love. That's perfect. It's a very slow walk, with these very slow steps. Oh, this is so cool, like, animator nerd in me is just like, way into this. So I believe this is motion captured, which is absolutely the way to go, I think, for something like this. Like, record motion capture and then maybe, like, heavily, like, adjust it and, uh, stylize and emphasize it if you, if you don't want to have a super realistic look. But if you're trying to, like, especially if you're an indie team and you're not going to have an army of animators to throw at the problem, like, invest in some motion capture recording and... Get all that stuff and then go in and tweak it. Ah, oh, this looks so cool. So this is the... full speed movement, unless there's a sprint that I don't know about. I also love what the environment's doing, but that's outside my purview of expertise. <laughs> that's, like, uh... tech art stuff. A cool look they've, uh put together for this game, too. I already adore this. Wow. Oh, and she looks at, uh, points of interest, too.
That's cool. Hmm. Whoop, hello. Oh, man, I could just stare at this stuff for a while. <laughs> okay, so what other what other buttons do I have here? So left trigger, ah, oh, does a little bit more of a sprint equivalent. So cool. Ah, oh, that's so lovely. Just love the gracefulness of it, and I love the choice to add little streamers to the wrists because that really emphasizes the arcs and uh, smoothness of a motion. Oh, and it looks a little bit different when you're turning into it as well. This stuff looks really good. Especially for, like, an indie team effort working in 3D in a somewhat realistic style. This looks awesome. Alright, so you got a big jump, which I like. The blend into it is a little bit soft, like, she- there's not a- Like, I've talked before in, in other videos about, like, how Anticipation is hard to work in <laughs> to uh, game animation, so she doesn't like bend her knees or anything before jumping up in the air. She just kind of lifts up, which actually almost feels like she's on a wire or something. Which you could you could kind of almost make that work if they uh, had her land just as softly. Uh, that may, it may feel bad to play. I don't know. It may be a style look that you wouldn't want to do, but I like like uh, that could be a fun thing to try. Let's see. Right bumper, nothing. Left bumper, nothing. Square? Oh, she spins. I wonder if that's an attack, or if it's just a spin. Oh, cool. Forward and square is a little... I don't know the... It's not a handspring. I do not know the formal name for that move. Circle does sort of a roll. Which is <laughs> just kind of a roll, actually. That one feels a little bit less graceful. It may just be, like, they sacrificed a bit of grace for function there. Which is okay. Like, sometimes that's just the thing you gotta make the higher priority. And triangle doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, uh, I love this. Already love it. Awesome. Good job, team. So, sorry, I don't know the name of the studio, but good job. This is gorgeous. <laughs> it's a cool solution for dealing with a camera collision, too. Got some IK going here, so that uh, and it's it's a difficult uh, <laughs> it's a difficult uh, bit of terrain for IK to have to solve. So there's a little, so there's a little bit of weirdness, but still, like it's uh, it's more or less working. It's keeping her feet on the ground. Oh, cool. That's a different dance movement for, uh, wading through thick grass and stuff. This is so cool. Like, this must have been so fun, figuring out, like, what are the dance-type movements that evoke the feeling of each of these, uh... of these kinds of actual movements. Are, th are these more natural, physical movements that you would actually normally do? has a different little run while on a balance little beam. Hmm. Can you just climb down things? Oh, you can. Cool.
Oh, this is so cool. Sorry, I've probably said that like a dozen times already and we're in episode one, but still. I love the animation aesthetic concept of this. What I'm hearing of the music is lovely, too. Whoop. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. I look forward. Nope, can't seem to... I was wondering if, like, lining up her silhouette with it would do anything. Oh, come on. Climb. There you go. It, it's amazing the bang for your buck you can get out of having just a few physics-driven objects hanging from a character, like her skirt and the, uh hair, I guess, for lack of a better word, and the tassels you get on the wrists and such, which aren't there right now, but... Oh, they start slowly streaming out as you run. Cool. Uh, like... If you have stuff that is driven by physics that's not, like, being hand-animated and isn't, like... You're not having to control the blending on that between animations, it's just doing its own thing, regardless of what the animations you actually made and, uh... And, uh... Build just your whole state machine of animation, regardless of what it's doing. Having physics objects doing their own thing on the side, like, influenced by all that stuff, helps to tie it all together so much, and really help to conceal... Uh... Oh, neat. It really helps to conceal any weirdness or, um, mechanical feelingness <laughs> in, like, blends and stuff. What's... Oh, she kind of sticks to the wall. Neat. Can I jump? Oh, I can! Oh, awesome! I'm gonna have to look up what all this- what else this studio made. Cuz, uh... This is so cool. And yeah, you can see, like, IK can be difficult. So, like, on the, uh walk up, you can see a little bit of kind of stutteriness in the legs and knees and occasional little bit of weirdness. It's very subtle, though, like... So they've managed to, uh... They've managed to really make that work and look nice. Hmm. Oh, you can roll, that's right. Whoop, there we are. What a neat project to get to work on. Uh, this sort of thing makes me so happy to see. It's not super often that, uh, like, there are a lot of games out there that have really interesting and original, uh, art design and aesthetic choices and stuff like that, and... Oftentimes, when that's done really well, the animation is informed by that, too. Like, the, uh, whatever style or look has been chosen for the art, the animation is built to, like, reflect it or to work with it. Oh, cool. Whoa. But so few games that I can think of have, like, an animation design choice driving so much of the aesthetic. That makes this kind of special. What have we here?
whatever tech it is they've built for this, like, kind of fragmenting, like, polygonal world stuff is really awesome. I am impressed. Oh yeah, and she even, like, even lying down, it's lying down as a dancer would on a stage. This is the coolest. And we will play more of it next time. Thank you for joining me, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you folks tomorrow for some more of this. I don't know how long the game is, we might actually finish it. We will see. See you next time! <laughs>